Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to trim out a garage door. Standard residential garage door. We're going to wrap the sides with sheet metal. Stay tuned. Should be a good video. Alright, order of operations. Some might think, oh, let's do the, the sides first. Uh, I particularly like to do the top first which allows us to slide in the sides after without scratching anything. It's just a better approach, but we can still lap it properly. I'll show you how to do that. using a J mold garage door trim the reason why we use this is it hooks onto the face of the wood frame and uh, it holds itself on rather than having to screw it this is where we put the screw on that 90 degree flange back there yeah this is a really nice design and it's very clean in the end as you can see here no no visible screws which is very nice all right let's move on to marking and cutting here we're gonna drop in our 45 degree line and for uh, clarification we are making the top trim we're starting at the top there's our square line we're now going to start notching leaving a little bit off the line and you'll see why later in the video just makes for a nicer job okay we're going to notch in now we have to uh, completely remove this piece here i'm going to zoom in just to show you exactly how we're notching it and uh, we'll get that piece right out of there there's the finished notch okay we're going to notch the back piece angle angle notch when you're doing this uh, this notch here uh, and uh, we're gonna square off the the back and finish it off with a 90 degree bend with your folders bend it up 90 and uh, this will this will make it nice and easy to to secure with a fastener guys if you're getting value Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and uh, maybe drop a comment down below just to let us know how we're doing. So here we are, going to finish up that 90 degree flange, looking good. Going to flip the piece over and repeat the process on the other side. Once you're finished that, we can uh, get to the get to the door itself and install the top trim just like so um, I think here we run into a bit of a snag it's getting a little tight so we're just going to um, just dolly in that um, that the edge of that flange and it just makes enough room for us to slide it in as you can see it's a nice tight fit and we're gonna get a screw on that flange. Here we're getting ready to lay out the sides and start notching for the sides. Have our square line in. If you guys just follow along, this will make it a nice easy process when you go to do your garage door trim. Uh, we, we do angle notch. Um, make sure not to cut so for the sides do not cut on that 45 line and you'll see why in a few seconds so we're gonna get that notched 
we're gonna cut that excess off completely like on the other one we left it for a flap that we turned up 90 but on this one we're cutting it completely off let's get that trim flipped over we're now going to approach the bottom of the trim um, if you guys remember that we're going to transfer those lines to the piece remember to do it in this process very important to um, to do it in this sequence um, because on the bottom of most garage door on the at, when it hits the floor um, the floor is actually a little bit sloped um, at the entrance way of the door so this is why we do it this way because uh, the bottom of this trim actually has to follow the slope line of that floor so if you do it this way it'll line up nice all right, let's go to the let's go to the frame. Uh oh, we uh, run into a bit of a problem here. It's a little too tight on the face for us to slip in behind. I'm gonna re release this screw and knock forward just slightly and replace the screw. This will open up the face, allowing us to slide our side trim in behind for proper lapping, which is also very important. All right, we'll slide this up in there. Slides up nice. Um, we have another issue. The bottom is too tight, so we're just gonna we're gonna remove a little bit off the bottom. Very nice. Wow. Hmm, so nice. Here we are, the finished product. Like and subscribe. For more of these videos, we're going to put in our uh, finishing touches here. And it's just reinstalling the garage gasket that was provided by the garage door company. We're just going to reinstall those. No big deal. Just um, a black screw every foot. And... Um, finishes it off very nice again the whole idea behind this method is to eliminate the use of visible screws in your final product guys thanks for watching hopefully your garage door trim installation goes as well as this one it's been a pleasure and have yourself a wonderful day hey if you like this video make sure to click one of these they're good ones I can assure you Make sure to like and subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. ASM 101 signing off.